Last year was the hottest year on record. The biggest thing we can do about it is to make energy in a cleaner way. For a company like General Electric, which has been producing, converting, and transmitting electricity over the decades, moving from conventional generation to a new form of generation was very, very exciting. It's only been because of the advancement of alloys and the metals we have today that can stand the temperature, pressure, and the corrosive attack of CO2 that have allowed this technology to actually blossom. The turbo machinery gets much smaller for the same power output. We can actually put this turbine on your kitchen table and it has enough power that it can power 10,000 homes. I'm working on generator technology that could allow offshore wind turbines to get 40, 50, 60 percent larger in terms of their power output. We're moving away from the use of permanent magnets toward the use of superconducting technology. If we can eliminate the usage of the permanent magnet, then we save cost and we can improve the machine performance. With all these greener technologies and all these renewables coming in, none of them actually run at synchronous frequencies. So power electronics is an integral part of it. It's like a synchronous dance. We have two billion people in the world that don't have access to running water because they don't have access to electricity. We have to bring them quality of life and we have to do it in a manner that the overall CO2 emissions created by power generation drops to meet the climate change targets. I think Edison and Tesla would wholly approve of the way we are handling the evolution of energy. Disruption is not so much about you build something which only two people on this whole planet can access. Disruption is when you build technologies, everyone in this planet can access. We have to make sure it's the right technological and economic solution for the world. We're going to be able to try and leave the world in a better place. So we'll be busy surely for the next 50 years. <laughs>